Hey guys, welcome back. Griffin RC Planes. So I've got my FMS Beaver here, two two meter wingspan, and you can see it's a little uh, it's a little beat up, and I crashed it, and I did what all of us dread doing, and what a lot of us are doing, and what a lot of people are talking about. I put the thing in thrust reverse while I was flying on complete accident, and. What I've learned from this lesson is, well, I'll tell you that in a minute. So, I was I was flying and I had a small audience at the park, and uh, I wasn't doing any kind of maneuver. I, I was just flying and and I and I flicked this switch, thinking it was going to do something else, and it put it in thrust reverse. But I didn't know it at the time. It just it quit. It, you know the, the motor quit making noise and, and obviously it wasn't uh, pulling itself and it was slowly going down and by the time I realized what I did I flicked the switch the other way and it started flying it again I could hear the motor going so what had happened after the after the aftermath I noticed that the prop nut was gone so when I put it in reverse obviously it backed off the nut and then when I put it in forward flight either it was tightening the nut back up or it was just uh, you know friction but anyways it was it was a dead stick landing and it came down pretty tough you can see he got my landing gear uh, with the with these big Dubro tires that may have helped out on this uh, uh, on this hard landing it got my uh, the top of my rudder and the cowl so far the the motor seems to be okay so far, and uh, but uh, we'll get some parts here and we'll we'll all fix it together. Let's see uh let's let's see a little bit of this damage here. Well, you can see we got the landing gear. Boy, it got bent, and also my cowl. This little blue thing <clears throat> is a little scoop I made to help get some some air going in around the speed control so that uh, it would help cool it down you can also see that I carved out a little bigger hole because there was not much cooling at all so we got the landing gear for sure the prop nut is gone the main fuselage is in is intact here the top of the rudder is busted and I think we're gonna be able to repair that fairly easily and don't worry coming soon I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get away or to do away with the multi control board and still use the quick connect for the wings well the new uh, the replacement landing gear will be here shortly and we'll put it on together well here's my lesson and, and here's what I've learned and probably what you guys are already doing or, or, or maybe uh, maybe you'll start after you know learning my uh, my mistake here I'm gonna start making the switch on my transmitter the same for every plane if it has thrust reverse or not on my three planes that have reverse this particular switch you know activates the reverse or not and on a couple planes that don't have reverse, that switch did a aileron to rudder mix. And that's what I thought I was doing. I wanted to make this graceful turn and I wanted to put in a little mix and, uh, and I just hit the switch and it was the wrong one. So anyways, don't put it in reverse while you're flying and make sure you uh, don't hit the switch that uh, <laughs> could cause that to go bad I'm gonna get some parts in and we're gonna repair it together 
and uh, like I promised the the how to wire the wings with the quick connect uh, without using that multi board is coming shortly one or two more videos from now hey thank you hey give me a thumbs up and subscribe and and, and like and and share it and, and all that stuff if you don't mind that'd be pretty dang cool alrighty thank you see you next time